You know, I never really liked this green shrimp tank that I started up. The color on these shrimp is just too dark. I even switched over the substrate over to this light substrate. And you can still barely tell they're there. Which is really annoying. Their green coloration never really popped. I think I got a bad batch to start with. And the shrimp just exploded in numbers. And, you know, I really miss my neon yellow shrimp tank, which is what this used to be. So I figured, let's start over. I ended up selling a bunch of these shrimp for a dollar a pop. It basically just covers the cost of maintenance, food, bags, etc. I don't really expect to make a profit on these guys. I never really did. So, what am I going to do now? I have a bunch of shrimp I don't want. Not many people really want to buy them. I mean, I guess if people are starting out, a dollar per shrimp is a pretty good steal of a deal, but eh, I'm just not really feeling it. So I decided to do a thing. I got myself a puffer fish. Hi, buddy. You see, the idea is I will never be able to get rid of all the babies in this tank. There's just too many of them, and they're dang near transparent. But... Pufferfish are fantastic analytical hunters. They can see around the corners that I can barely get a glimpse at. And this little dude has already eaten a shrimp, which is the point of this tank. At this point, anyway. You see, this tank um, needs to expel its inhabitants. I can't sell them, at least not quick enough to justify keeping them around. So, I gotta get rid of them. You know, it's the circle of life and all that. I've never been shy about that. Back from when I used to have fish tanks with all sorts of different creatures. But, um, yeah. We're gonna trust, uh, try this out. See if I can't get my little puffer buddy, which I still need a name for, by the way. If any of you guys have a name suggestion for my little puffer buddy, I would be glad to hear it. I had a pea puffer a while ago, and her name was Poof, because she was a little poofball. But uh, she's been she's been gone for a long time now. I didn't want to get another puffer because I had some emotional attachments to my puffer. I love pufferfish. It was a good story. I should tell you guys sometime about pufferfish. But in the meantime, this is what's going on. She's gonna attack the babies or a he? I actually don't know. I think it's a he at this time. He's going to attack the babies, so that way they can't reproduce. Or at least if they do reproduce, they were, their numbers won't get crazy. I'm not going to just do some sort of, like, chemical treatment to kill the shrimp. That just seems wasteful. And I kind of wanted a puffer anyway. I don't know if I will keep the puffer long term. I probably will keep the puffer for a while. Um, but really, he's just a utility fish at the moment kind of serving a purpose it'll be quite some time before all these shrimp are taken care of i can get the big ones but those tiny ones i tell you what if i can if i can focus in on there i mean that's 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 not even as small as they get they get way smaller than that i'm never going to be able to scoop them out and the re and the thing is i can't have these guys chilling around when I put neon yellows in here, because if that happens, they'll breed with each other. And then I'll get some nasty colored shrimp. Oh, here's here's a good one. There, see that little dude right there in the center? That's the kind of shrimp that I'm talking about. They're going to hang out in the back. You're never going to see them. They're going to breed with the other shrimp that you don't want to screw up the genetic lineage of. And then they're just going to make the tank all nasty and stuff. And it's just going to be a pain in the butt to scoop them all out individually. And try and like take care of it that way. So this is my plan. I literally went to Petco and was like, give me the angriest puffer you have. And I, well, they don't really know their fish like that. So I just analyzed their tank, saw this one was the liveliest and thought, you know what? Yeah, you'll do. Hi, buddy. Can I get a good photo or video of you? Hmm. 
Yeah. They're going to be a good little fish. Let's see if, if another shrimp comes his way. He'll probably eat it. He already ate one in front of me, which was perfect. I think he was getting used to his tank. Yeah. Point is, that's the plan for the green tank. No one wants them. I don't want them. And this is the plan. Cruel, perhaps, if you're a shrimp. But anyone who's got any sort of hunting fish will probably know the deal. So...